Okay, I know why the airplane is moving backwards. It's because the ship is moving forwards. Physics, people. Physics. And and there goes physics. Okay. Hey there, fellas. Buddy Spike here. I wanted to show you this mod it's I know it's mod but it's a whole aircraft with clickable cockpit and it is completely free what I used to think is maybe you have to have uh, another module that you have to buy and then the mod would replace that module yes there are mods like that but this mod is completely free I just couldn't believe it when when a buddy of mine told me and in this mod you could equip all sorts of stuff you can have uh, smokes and ton of weapons as you can see from air to air to air to ground missiles you have all sorts of bombs and fuel tanks and pods and these are uh, rockets I think these are all unguided rockets really good stuff here and there are a bunch of um, liveries already built in to the mod so I'm really amazed like what you can find online these days and it's completely for free the the exterior looks very nice I must say I mean well some of the high fidelity airplane modules do look better but this one does not look bad at all with all the flaps and air brakes functional so I am super impressed look at the landing gear quite detailed for for a mod I would say and in this look at the interior looks so good now I'm not uh, I'm not an expert on how a clickable cockpit works because as you might have known I have only SU-33 module and it is not a high fidelity module thing so I took help from from someone I found on discord and the guy is I think only 10 year old but he knew stuff I was impressed and <laughs> I really find it funny in the mod it is included that the guy has a picture of his family uh, in the cockpit and really amazing and if you think about it attention to detail the picture is black and white so at the time when this plane was flown uh, I think the cameras uh, were only capturing black and white so really amazing attention to detail everything looks very high quality I am I, I have no words these mirrors okay the mirrors also work so I'm gonna show you the starter procedure and then after that I'll take you on a quick flight alrighty so your first step is going to be to open your canopy alright I think it's uh, already open oh no, it's closed it's, it's closed alright it's open now alright your next step is going to be to go to your communications menu and go to ground crew and then go to ground electrical power. Ground electrical power on. And then on. Chief, turn on the ground power. Oh, okay. Nice. So this is how they have to start it up. Not the PR. Okay. The one oh, person the RPM. One. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So when that gets to five, you want to right-click your throttle okay. once, and when All that right. gets to fifteen, you're going to right-click that throttle twice. Now click the starter button, and do exactly that. Okay. Right click your throttle once. Right click. Right click. The first first it was already left click and now I right now I can hear a sound increase. It's like something is starting up. Yep, Isn't it, it sounds like it. Alright, yeah, and then once that RPM gets to forty, okay. you're going to turn ground electrical power off. Alright. Wait, how did I can Okay. You, can you move your throttle right now? No. Right click it twice. This one? Yeah, right click the throttle itself. Oh, uh, alright. Yeah. Okay. So you have to lock it in place. Did it lock in place? Uh, lock in place? What do you mean? How? Yeah, you have to right click it twice. Okay. Yeah, there you uh, go. Alright, alright. Now I can use it. Okay, right. now turn off your ground electrical power. Alright, ground crew, ground electrical, turn off. And close your canopy. 
There you go. Now you're completely started up. Oh. Okay, so you see your knots indication by your ADI ball? Yes. Okay. Takeoff speed is about 130 to 150, aka like 50, around 15 or something. Like, basically, you see how there's that big line, and then it starts a little half circle? Yeah, that's the mock indicator. Yeah, right. okay, so you're going to start right when that mock indicator starts. Copy that. You're going to rotate right when that mock indicator starts. All right, and that that's the landing speed as well. Yeah, that's the uh, landing speed as well. All Correct. right. All right, go ahead and taxi out to the runway, and we're going to try and take off. Just, just one thing I want to ask: When you're using different kind of weapons, does the HUD change? You know, this, no, this no, 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 no. It's a Cold War plane, so the HUD doesn't change. Hey. You, you kind of just have to guess. I mean, there are technical ways, but you'd have to look up a guide for all the weapons, and you have to be going a certain mm. speed. You have to put your gun sight depression on and stuff like that. But okay, okay, I'm going full throttle. And rotating. Looks very nice, very smooth. Flaps up, then gears up. Very nice. I can't believe that this is all for free. This plane looks so beautiful. And smoke on. Wow, what a roll speed. <laughs> oh my goodness, the roll is super fast. You can roll so quick. I don't know if that's realistic, but... I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you think that roll this fast is actually realistic. Because I've, I've tried this with SU-33 and SU-33 rolls a bit, a bit slower. In order to show you the weapons and weapon systems, I really have to learn all of it in order for me to show you. Okay, I'm just gonna head back to the runway and see how the landing goes. Deploying flaps and landing gear. The animations are pretty good, pretty good. Deploying air brakes, I think I'm going too fast. Oh yeah, I'm going fast. Let's see if I could butter this bread. Come on, nice and easy now. Oops. Come on. Real nice. And touchdown. Okay. Oh, okay. The landing seems a bit buggy. Okay. Well, isn't that the most satisfying part of the of flying? Well, the landing seemed a bit buggy. Okay, I just noticed there's a hook. So Technically, this aircraft is compatible with aircraft carrier. Hmm, I'm gonna have to check it out. All right, I just set the control for hook down. All right. Okay, it just went inside the ground. <laughs> okay, the hook does work. Let me just try it on an aircraft carrier real quick. Okay, I thought I'd check its uh, carrier capability and see if everything works at the carrier. Mm -hmm. In the instant action menu, everything is already set up. So I think I'm just gonna full power and then uh, the catapult will let me go. Full power. And okay, I should flaps down. And we're. Oh, okay. A little buggy. I think the, the landing gear suspension has. is a little buggy. Other than that, everything else seems fine. Let me go around and see if I could catch the wire. Landing gear down. All right. Everything seems in order except my uh, except my speed and <laughs> my angle of descent. Okay, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And. Boom! Alright, that worked! Very nice! Very nice! Just gonna... Why is it going back? I'm just gonna... 
Retract the tail. Okay, I'm gonna accelerate because the, I think the wire was pulling me back. <laughs> so I accelerated to stop moving forward, otherwise I would have, I think, fallen off the aircraft. But overall I'm impressed. I mean for a free mod I think I think this is good. Maybe I'll do some formation flights later on and show you guys. Because uh, the Blue Angels did fly this, I believe. So I hope you liked the video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy Spike out.